<laughs> What's up, modern steaders? I thought we'd just go for a little walk around the property and I'd give you a tour of what it looks like now and let you know what we want to do to it as we proceed here. It used to all be an old farm, I was told. We made this into our lower driveway. As you can see down here, there's a rock wall there and a rock wall there. But the road to get to the town road goes that way. So I don't know if this was for an old farm road or if it was like a lane where they had the animals run from the barn or from the different fields. Kind of interesting. The brooks are starting to run nice with all the snow melting. Next week it's supposed to be in the 70s, so hopefully we'll lose most of the snow we're having. Here you have our field where we run our chickens. It's springtime here, so that means mud on dirt road. That's the house, the coop slash greenhouse. There's our little garden bed. We'll be making more up front here. In the spring, once all the snow melts, this is the southern side of the property. Or this is the southern side of the house, I should say. It's our little pop-up trailer. We plan on making that into a mobile chicken coop. That's the plan with that. All these woods here. We'll walk up to the property line. Those all used to be pasture, believe it or not. Over here, we got all of the wood chips we were lucky enough to get dropped off last year. We let them sit over here in the, for the winter and kind of break down a little bit. We'll property line goes down this stone wall. You can see it's all overgrown trees. But there's another stone wall right there. So there's like another road that went down the center of these woods before. Kind of interesting. You can see it's kind of opened up in there. These trees really aren't that big. So not that long ago, this was all failed from what I understand. It used to be a potato farm. So there's a stone wall right there and over here. As you can see, there's some pretty big rocks in there. So this wasn't a road. I wonder if it was a lane they used to use to drive cattle or goats or something. It's pretty interesting. Leave it in the comments below if you know why they would have done something like this. One of those old, neat, majestic looking trees right there in front of us on the property line. Branches out in about a hundred different directions. Wonder how many kids have played on that tree. Looks like a pretty cool spot to hang out when you're a kid and climb. Just walking on the stone walls and seeing them all and all the trees and just thinking about back how it used to be. A lot of people think New England used to be always wooded in Vermont and New Hampshire especially. But believe it or not, it used to be, not that long ago, all fields and cropland. When we got out of the agrarian lifestyle, we just left it all and let the trees all grow back up. And that's why when you're walking in the woods, you see all these stone walls. That's what they used to be. It used to be pasture land. So one of the things we plan on doing is all out behind us and most of this land is pretty it's got a lot of small trees growing up on it, big trees and brush. So we want to get some goats and some pigs and let them do the work for us. Might take a little bit more time but they'll make the land a little bit more fertile. They'll be more natural. They won't disturb it as much as if we cut down and take out all the roots ourselves. we'll be taking out a lot of the topsoil. So if we can use the animals to our advantage, 
instead of just spending a bunch of money. We can turn the animals into money almost and clear the land. Oh, look at this right here. Walking down and here's some bob wire. Must go the whole length buried in the snow. But I'm sure we'll get some equipment in here at some point, cut down some trees and use an excavator maybe to dig a pond or clear some more pasture land, but we're gonna try to do a lot of it with animals and see how that works out. Not against completely using machinery, but I'd like to see what we can do with animals and I'm sure we're gonna have to clear a spot for our barn and all that good stuff. We already started working on that. And we'll have to get a tractor in here and an excavator to flatten an area out and bring some gravel in and make it a nice run in for them. But let's keep walking. So we're still just following the stone wall. There's a bunch of snow still out here, but it's very mealy, like uh, a slush puppy almost. It keeps sinking in in spots. What you guys are hearing is me crunching the chunky icy snow it's 40 degrees out today Whoa. and definitely feels like spring you can hear the birds are chirping and hopefully next week most of the snow will be gone you can hear the water float out stay away so the brook is down there. You can hear the water rushing under the snow. Right here, near the rock wall. You guys hear that? The water just rushing down the hill, but all in the rock wall into the brook. That's pretty wild. See if we can get across the stone wall or something without falling in the brook. You can hear it over here now. Take the microphone off and see if I stick it in the snow if you guys can hear it. Can you hear that? That's pretty crazy. Oh, I hope you could hear that. We'll go back and find out when we put the video together. That's pretty neat. Let's see if we can cross this rock wall again without falling in the brook. The rock wall is still right here and the brook goes under it. See if we can get across without falling in. A dog can run across. <laughs> Let's see if we can make it. Oh. We made it! Ah, so far. Oh. Oh. Alright. We keep sinking in the snow. Got my tall muck boots on, but I'm sinking so deep. They're filling up with snow. We're gonna have some wet socks when we get back. Here is a small little animal's pooping spot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what those are. If you know, leave them in the comments below. It looks like whatever it is comes back here on a regular basis. Must be its little outhouse. This is the area. I'd like to put the barn and then run off the barn someday. It's all smaller saplings. I'm gonna be putting the pigs over here this year and letting them clean out this little area of woods for us. And then in here there's a few more apple trees also. This tree right here, all the way up. And look how tall that is. That's an old apple tree. I mean, that thing's gotta be like 30 to 50 feet tall. Now you know why we have dwarf varieties nowadays. That's basically 
an apple tree for pigs or deer. They'll fall off and we can get them. They can get them when they fall off. But that's just crazy. Well, that's the tour of the woods of the property and just a quick little outline. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'd love to hear what projects you're working on this year and, and we'll see you tomorrow.